I know what I'm about to say now is controversial, but I have to say it. This nation cannot continue turning a blind eye and a deaf ear to the taking of some 4,000 unborn children's lives every day, one every 21 seconds. We cannot pretend that America is preserving her first and highest ideal, the belief that each life is sacred. When we've permitted the deaths of 15 million helpless innocents since the Roe versus Wade decision. 15 million children who will never laugh, never sing, never know the joy of human love, will never strive to heal the sick, feed the poor, or make peace among nations. Abortion has denied them the first and most basic of human rights. We are all infinitely poor for their loss. This nation fought a terrible war so that black Americans would be guaranteed their God-given rights. Abraham Lincoln recognized that we could not survive as a free land when some could decide whether others should be free or slaves. Well, today, another question begs to be asked. How can we survive as a free nation when some decide that others are not fit to live and should be done away with? I believe no challenge is more important to the character of America than restoring the right to life to all human beings. Without that right, no other rights have meaning. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. I think we're making progress in upholding the sanctity of life of infants. I've asked for your all-out commitment, for the mighty power of your prayers, so that together we can convince our fellow countrymen that America should can and will preserve God's greatest gift. We are a government of, by, and for the people. And people want a constitutional amendment to restore the rights that were taken from us. Let us encourage those among us who are trying to provide positive alternatives to abortion. And with your help, we can win. And that will be a great victory for our children.